Welcome back, Family of Light. This is Davida with Meeting of the Light Tarot. All right, Libras, it is your turn. And let's get started. This is, this is the Erotic Tarot. This was a gift from a subscriber, and I so appreciate it. Interesting. Spirit is wanting me to, they're like, no, it goes the four lines here, or the four cards here. I'm like, okay, because usually I do three. If you've been here before, you know that. But I'm assuming, I'm going to assume that there is a reason for it, and I'm going to do it. Okay, so that's just for that one. This is you, this is them, and this is the storyline. Make sure that if you find that this does not resonate with you, go and check out my playlist for other Libra readings, because these are very specific. And even if they're dated, just look at the title. You've got the Queen of Cups here, the Four of Wands, the Four of Swords, and the Queen of Wands. Lots of fiery, passionate energy. Lots of love. Now, guys, why did you want the fourth card here? They're saying you're a wonderful combination between the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands here. Fire and passion. You need to take a rest here. <clears throat> and with the Four of Wands here, you're really kind of wondering which way to go. You've got all the fire and the passion and the love that you need. You need to rest so you can see what the next step is. You know, in the Four of Wands here, is the 11-11 card. But it's interesting that they're showing one person. You know, and this indicates to me that you've got all the, the fire and the passion. You need to rest from the pack, fact that you're still waiting for your person to come through here. It's like you're waiting. It's almost like you're waiting at the altar. So your person has the Empress, the King of Cups. So there's the King and Queen of Cups here. And then you've got the Death card. death and destruction. Okay, so what I'm feeling here is that there is this person is either involved with someone else or they married with someone else and they're wanting to get away and that's why you're waiting for them with this four of wands here. You know, and they're very much seduced by continuing to go back to this other person. This person definitely holds sway over them because this is the Empress. And they are just the mere King of Cups. But you are their match. And it's kind of like they had up-leveled with this person. And this person is very, very confident. With the chariot card, 
the nine of pentacles and the nine of wands and the nine of cups here. It's like they want to move forward with you, but they can't seem to break free from this person here. They keep trying to cause this destruction, this tower moment. But this person is like, oh no, that's not really what you want, is it? No, no, I'm not having it. We're not doing that. You know, and your person's sitting here going, oh, how do I get away from this? How do I do this? Hence you're waiting and resting. You know, and you're starting to think, well, maybe I need to walk away from this because your person can't break free from this person, even though they continually keep burning everything down. This person, their person has got to hold on them hardcore. They know how to play them. They know how to control them. You know, but don't forget, you are the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands here. You know, and then the overall is this Emperor card and the Ten of Wands. So it's like letting go of these burdens. And this person here that keeps drawing them back in are not letting them go. It's like they're refusing a divorce. You know, they just know how to commute, just know how to manipulate them. And they've been doing it for so long they belittle them, they make them feel small and important, and your person has believed that. <laughs> what I'm hearing is your person, you know, might have even tried to fake in their mind, you know, going to extremes, you know, wanted to fake their own death. You know, like, how can I just... You know, just out of frustration, out of in thought. Not like they were actually going to do it. But that's how frustrated they are. You know, but this person has really, really, like, got them by the you-know-what. And that is interesting that they ask for that fourth card because they never do that. Yeah, this is really affecting your self-esteem as well. Because you thought by now that this would be over. That you guys would be, you know, ready to make that commitment. And you're like, where the heck is this person? He, she, they. Where are they? And I'm, I'm hearing that you're kind of disgusted that your person can't seem to get this person away from them. With the Queen of Cups comes the Queen of Pentacles. You got a lot of Queen energy here. The Knight of Pentacles. So you're ready to kind of Yeah, you're really thinking about moving on, working on the coin, you know, focusing on money, growing your own empire. And here comes the Knight of Wands with this four of swords. You want to move this forward. And if you have to move this forward without them, you're like, okay. Because, you know, at this point, you don't really have a choice. You know, this person holds the cards, and your person cannot figure out how to unwind themselves. Because, like I said, either this person is much smarter than they are, more cunning than they are. And I don't mean that to be mean, but they've cut down your person for so long that they know how to manipulate them easily. 
you know, and your person's been wanting to get away from this evil person, and that's the word they use. And you know I'm nosy. So if your person actually uses that word, comment down below. Because that's what I heard. It's like, they call this person evil. Because this person knows how to mess with them. Now with this Queen of Wands comes the Seven of Cups. So for you, you're like, okay, well, if you can't show up, then I'm going to start making other choices here. Because I can't spend my whole life waiting for you to unwind yourself from this evil situation. With the three, or well, with the Empress here comes the two of wands. Yeah, she's very cunning. She, she, he, they, they know how to make plans. They know how to see far enough ahead to where they can, um, thwart any moves that your person tries to make to get away from them. This person is very, very clever. Very, very devious. With this tower card here comes the Knight of Cups. They earnestly and honestly want to be with you. They yearn for you. They want to be there. They want this Ten of Cups with you. You know, this is the Ten of Cups is clarifying the King of Cups. They want this with you. They want to be with you with all of their heart. They're going to have to figure out how to get rid of this person. With the Chariot card, that's interesting. She's on her tippy toes. I'm like, okay. Um, is the Knight of Wands wanting to move forward and you know, projecting the passion and creating what the two of you want together. But the Nine of Wands is the Devil card. You know, trying to break free from the Devil. You know, and both of you, like, this is your person's that they're trying to get away from. And here's the two of you trying to break free from this demon. You know, and actually, are they a demon? No, but they're they're very they're very low vibrational person. They're they're not a good person. They got a lot of healing and growing to do, and it might not happen in this life, but that's the path that they have chosen. So, with the nine of cups here comes the seven. You know, it's like you thinking about walking away from the situation you know, and taking what you can. So you might not, you might even be having some ideas, you know, like they were earlier, like, how could I fake my own death? You know, going to extremes and not something that you're really going to do, but um, doing it to where, you know, you're going to try to break free from this. You're going to try to break free from, you know, the bond, the bounds that this person is putting on you because it's affecting you in your life. So you're also trying to figure out how can I get away from this? You know, because you know you can't save your person. You know, and they might even, obviously this is a karmic partner that they're trying to get away from. But if they're not strong enough or cunning enough to work through this, then they, then they need to make the, an extreme choice of, you know, walking away and letting them have all the money. And that's what this work, this person wants. And so they're willing to, you know, drag them into the ground if they have to, you know, and this person's not even faithful to them. They've had many, many, a, an affair. And that's one of the reasons they wanted to get away and then found you. See, because that's what I'm saying. These, these are very, very detailed readings. So with this emperor is... The Three of Cups. They want to be able to celebrate life with you. They want to be with you. You know, and with this Ten of um, Wands here, you know, the, the burden, they see you as this person who could fly away, who's independent and single. And they don't want that. 
but on the flip side, they don't know how to turn this around. Now, Spirit, what would you like to say to turn this around, or this, can this be turned around? And if you want a private reading on this, because I'm not doing an extended today, you can check in the description box down below for a private reading. They say at this time, your best option is to walk away, because that's what obviously you're thinking about doing, because the situation is not moving. So... Oh, okay. So what I'm hearing is you're going to have to walk away to put the fire under this, in, underneath this person, your person's butt for them to make a drastic move, you know, as far as like whatever it would be, walk away, gain some strength to be able to go, sorry, I'm not doing this anymore. I don't care what you have to say because your person wants victory. And I want it with you. Okay. So your best option from what I'm seeing is walk away. It will push them into finding other options so they can have the victory that they want with you. All right. I hope that that was helpful. And I will see you next time on Medium of the Light Tarot. And make sure you give it a thumbs up. Bye-bye.